Control the toughest weeds with overlapping residuals. Lock in the longest lasting control for your soybean fields. A pre-emergence application of an authority brand herbicide plus a post application of Anthem Max herbicide establishes the overlapping residual control key to safeguarding your soybean seasons. This pairing is a heavy duty economical strategy against Palmer Amaranth, Water Hemp, Kosha and more. Visit your FMC retailer or lockin.ag.fmc.com today. Always read and follow all label directions. Care physician. One pill makes you larger and one pill makes you smaller. Your help matters with Carl Sterling on News Radio 570 WSYR on 1069 FM and live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. I take a couple offers, I down a couple doubters, but nothing compares to these blue and yellow purple. Bring you the latest in health and wellness. So you can get to the other things that matter. Here's your host, Carl Sterling. All right, here we are. Welcome, everyone. And uh, thanks for joining me. It's really good to be here. And thank you, um, Producer Kelsey, for your help. Um, So you know what? I want to first of all talk about last week. I am so grateful for all the positive response from last week's show it was fun for me to deliver the information. I had been thinking about that show for a while because, you know, like I was telling uh, producer Kelsey, who's doing an amazing job here, I've been really lucky over the past 10 years or so. I've been able to travel all over the world many times to the point where I don't want to go anywhere anymore, really. And now I can, I can come here and I can sit here and I can bring world-class guests world-class researchers and experts to, let's say, educate us. You know, they're educating me, and I get to pass it on to you because, as I always say, we're, we're here to rewrite the narrative on health care. All right, I wrote a little something down here. We're here to, first of all, increase, uh, let's say, our lifespan, but our health span within the lifespan. We want to rewrite that narrative on self-care, to manage our own health care. You know, I have another thing here I wrote down that you're basically illness is incentivized by insurance companies and the medical world. I don't mean that disrespectfully towards anybody. There are a lot of people out there who are not incentivizing a lot of doctors, like Dr. Barry, of course, right? And others as well. Dr. Rotella, my former doctor, love them. You know, they want you to be healthy. But we want to Declare war on disease, obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancers, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, dementia. But, you know, we can do this through education, which is the cornerstone of change. And I can help you as a practitioner through movement, diet. And, of course, uh, there's, a, there's a lot more to it than that, right? We can retrain the body. We can work on... Uh, I'm sorry, retrain the brain, because the brain, you know, we talked about neuroplasticity, retrain the brain, get the body moving, build strength so that we can move better, have better mobility, stability, agility, balance. And also another thing that I've been uh, hearing a whole lot about recently are the social life that we have. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But last week's show was, um, you know, fun for me to talk about. And also we we had nice feedback. We had several new uh, people come into the clinic who were um, new to us, some for pain. Unfortunately, the people in pain are in less pain now, and a couple of them are in no pain from what I'm hearing, so I'm very happy about that. But I asked you last week, who's going to be in on this? Who's in, all right? I'm going to give you my phone number again. It's 315-935-7488. 315-935-7488. You call me. You text me. I had 12 messages last week before I left the studio. Nine texts, three phone calls. People who are in, they're in on rewriting the narrative on their own self-care. They're in, and this makes me so happy. All right, so let's continue on that theme today. We have scheduled today a guest, a special guest, Dr. Ray Dorsey, uh, 
uh, let's say, a prominent figure in the field of neurology, specializing in Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders from University of Rochester. We are not connected with him yet. Uh, I know the team sometimes gives him trouble, so let's uh, just wait, hang around, and see if, if he's able to connect with us. That would be wonderful. In any case, a uh, few items, housekeeping things I want to let you know. Naboso insoles are here, and they're in my clinic, and we have them. $55 a pair. You come over, pick up a pair, versus $80 online. If you want to order them from me, pay over the phone, we can do that. Charge you an extra 5 bucks for shipping and get it to you anywhere in the United States for that price. All right, so 60 if we ship it out to you. They make a huge difference in the amount of sensory input you are receiving from your feet because those small nerve endings, as Dr. Emily said on last month's show when she was on about four weeks ago, I guess, something like that, she was telling us we could wake up the nerves on the bottom of our feet, on that skin, that plantar skin. Those nerves go dormant. Okay, a lot of, not all of them, but a lot of them, the more decades that we wear shoes and socks. Well, our connection between us and the ground, it's our feet. And in particular, it's the skin on the bottom of our feet. It also happens to be the most highly densely populated skin on the entire body with small nerve sensory and mechanoreceptors. When we wake them up, we get more sensory input to the brain, which allows the brain to immediately calculate and send out a signal to help you stabilize better, move better, improve posture, Stride symmetry, stride length, probably your arm swing will go better. You'll move faster. It's, they're amazing. So if you want them, you let me know. 315-935-7488. I want to know who's in, and I want to fill up my phone with messages from people, all right? Because I, together we can do this, folks. Together we can help each other. Let's talk about biodensity for a minute. The biodensity machine is proving to help people reverse osteoporosis, reverse osteopenia. We have people coming in whose DEXA scans are improving. DEXA scans reversing that osteoporosis into penia and some, some uh, osteopenia going into normal bone mass now, healthy bone mass. So their fracture risk comes down. Even Dr. Berry was saying about somebody the other day, I can't believe this. Six months, 52 sessions, this gentleman has made significant progress, and this is the only intervention that has changed for him. All right. Also want to let you know the member site is up, and there's a lot of stuff up there right now. In fact, I'm looking at it. You go to carlsterling.com. That is Carl with a K, sterling.com. Go to the member site if you use in, I believe it's capital letters, March free as your coupon code. You will have to enter, first of all, your um, you know credit card stuff, but it's not going to charge you because it gives you a 100% discount this month. Otherwise, it's 10 bucks a month starting April 1st. This is an area where you're going to have a lot of stuff added on a weekly basis. All right? It's called the VIP area. You go in there, you get signed up. You're going to have show notes, complete transcripts, of these radio shows, and then a highlight, uh, show a highlight with just a page or two of highlights of the show. I have a complete Parkinson's course uploaded now. All right, it's the same one I teach all over the world to physical therapists, physiotherapists in Europe, um, all over the world, trainers here and all over the world. The same course, same information, Parkinson's disease education. It's, uh, you know, I, I don't want to like sound like I'm tooting my horn or anything, but I've, I have written two books on it. This is what I do at my clinic. I work a lot with people with Parkinson's to help them improve their, how their brain is working and retraining that brain so that we can help you to move better, reduce fall risk, live a better quality of life. You know, who gets a break from that? Well, the person with Parkinson's. How about the caregivers? I don't know what the date will be. We're going to have a show about caregivers coming up in the very near future. Definitely, if it won't be this month, April, for sure. All right? So you might want to check out that course. It's free this month. We have a flexibility section, myofascial release, stretching. I have a whole posture playlist, all right, and strength exercises. This is going to increase in information and videos today, tomorrow, Pretty much every day, because I've got a ton of stuff to put up there, folks. 
So it's carlsterling.com. That's Carl with a K. All right. Let's move forward. I have been thinking a lot lately because, you know, I'm going to be 63. I say it every week, right? I can't believe I got this old, but I feel so good. I've actually never felt better in my entire life. What I look at is longevity. It's really, it's a lifestyle. It's exercise, how you eat, and maybe having some gratitude. sense of community. You know, we have a loneliness epidemic here. We see it all the time. We're going to go out to a break in like maybe 20 seconds at the most. Uh, um, I want you to um, stay on here for me because I want to talk about this longevity thing with you. I want to have you uh, engage in thinking maybe a certain way that might be helpful. So we're going to head out to a break. You're listening to Your Health Matters here on 570 WSYR also on 106.9 FM. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Thank you. There's something happening in the economy. Inflation. Migrant crime issues. 2024. Joe Biden. Donald Trump. The next U.S. president. Ain't exactly clear. What's going to happen? Check in often. Time we stop. 570 WSYR. Pink Girls Home Service, this is Joe. Hey, Joe. So I've got lots of little home improvements, but they involve plumbing, some electrical, and carpentry. And I heard on radio, you pig-nosed guys do it all? Yes, but we're not pig-nosed. Oh. We're Pink Rose. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I thought... <laughs> I know. Maybe your noses were... Parkinson's. Well, then I'm going to I'm gonna start leaning into the Parkinson's information now because this is what I've been teaching all over the world for many years. And it's what we do at my clinic over there in Dr. Barry's building, Preventive Medicine Associates building in Camillus on West Genesee Street. All right, so for those who are wondering, what the heck do we do? Let's talk about Parkinson's as far as what is our most immediate and primary concern, all right, for the person living with Parkinson's. Well, uh, I told you episode one back in January, we're going to deliver some shock factor type of news once in a while because it's the truth, and that's... I'm always going to be honest with you and tell you the truth, all right? Number one concern is falls, right, or falls and injury. So here's a shock factor for you. Number one cause of mortality or death in the Parkinson's population statistically are complications from a fall. It may not be the fall itself, but it could be like a lot of people, maybe a fall down, you break something, particularly a hip, a femur, you know, that thigh bone, if you will, you go to the hospital, and then, you know, something happens. Maybe you have to have surgery. Maybe you have uh, rehabilitation. Maybe because of other potential health problems, because uh, I don't mean this as a joke, but you know, I say this at every workshop because I don't want you to think that somebody with Parkinson's is defined by Parkinson's. Nobody is defined by any diagnosis, all right? Uh, I have uh, antiphospholipid syndrome, but I'm not a walking blood clot. And I am not defined as a blood clot. So, but I have dealt with it and I'm fine. A person with Parkinson's is a person with Parkinson's, but we are concerned about other, uh, the falls. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, maybe they have cancer as well. Maybe they have um, dementia. Maybe they have some other, a, a metabolic problem. Maybe they have diabetes. There are all kinds of things. They're, okay, they're people first. We are all people first. So complications from the fall, well, this is the number one cause of mortality, and it's quite frightening. We want to stay out of the faller category. We want what we do here and through the education that I deliver. We know that, first of all, Parkinson's disease affects each person uniquely differently. All right. It's a full body multifunction experience. My goal is to help that person to live a full and active life, to slow disease progression, to reduce fall risk, maybe eliminate falls, positively impact cognition, movement, and agility, uh, quality of life, and to delay disease onset if somebody is genetically predisposed to, let's say, a gene mutation into Parkinson's, okay, because that can be a factor. If you want to know what it is exactly, the clinical definition is that it's an idiopathic meaning from an unknown origin, 
progressive neurodegenerative disorder of the central nervous system. All right. The brain cells in the area of the brain called the substantia nigra, they are dying. The degeneration of these brain cells causes a reduction in the production of dopamine. Dopamine is a driver, first of all. I mean, it, it drives us towards survival, reproduction, uh, goals, degrees, finishing a, a marathon, anything, right? Goals, getting the cup of coffee across the, the studio from here, which I got before we started because my dopamine wanted me to go get more coffee, so I did. But it's also a neurotransmitter, all right? It tells it's one of the neural transmitters where your brain is the dopamine is telling through your nervous systems your musculoskeletal system what to do so a loss of dopamine res results in greater difficulty producing smooth intentional movements so moving forward besides the fact it's also a chemical reward if you will i want to talk about couple other things here all right what can we do what can we do to manage parkinson's disease i have so much information on this i'm going to pick the two factors i think are probably the most important number one the best way to slow let's say slow the uh progression of parkinson's disease or any brain related disorder it, like let's say a part of the brain is dying like alzheimer's dementia parkinson's and there are a slew of other like movement disorders here you got cere cerebral ataxia you got ataxia you got stroke tooth disease multiple system atrophy generalized dystonia all kinds of things like that well the number one way to slow progression via exercise is cardio why is that? Okay, if we get our heart rate up, all right, we elevate that heart rate, our brain produces what is called uh, a neuroprotective chemical called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, all right, BDNF for short. It's also known, I, you know, like kind of a nickname is miracle grow for the brain. I didn't make this up. I got this from Dr. John Rady, a uh, best-selling author who's going to be on the show in June, right, Harvard Pers a medical school professor, brain-derived neurotrophic factor is best produced by elevated heart rate via exercise, right? It helps to keep cert certain chemicals in the system for longer. So there's a better, cha uh, better chance of the uptake of chemicals. And let's talk about medications. Medications will be, let's say, taken into your system faster and have a longer-lasting effect. Okay, so this is very, very important. Now, you have to remember, it doesn't mean we're going to stop the disease, but it's very likely that we can slow disease progression and improve quality of life. Now, I'm going to tell you that um, about seven years ago when I met Dr. Dale Bredesen, who was on the show in late January or early February, remember him, best-selling author of The End of Alzheimer's? Well, at the luncheon where I met him, he reported, and in his books, End of Alzheimer's, uh, end of Alzheimer's Protocol, and then uh, let's see, there's another one called The First Survivors of Alzheimer's. He reports in the second and third book that people, there are people with Alzheimer's who through exercise, okay, cardio, elevated heart rate, through the production of this miracle growth of the brain called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, they, uh, months after, I think it was six months was one of the studies, they have shown reversal of Alzheimer's. You heard him say this on the show. Okay, that's just one factor. He also has the Bredesen Protocol, which Dr. Berry is the only practitioner in the area who does that. You, um, you can contact him if you have questions about his protocol. Getting that heart rate up there is going to produce brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Again, it's going to circulate around the brain. It is going to attach to brain cells. It's going to help those brain cells to live longer. So cellular functionality, cellular lifespan, cellular integrity, it's all going to get better because of BDNF. If somebody is predisposed to something like Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, we're looking at the potential delay of onset or maybe no onset, right? So we have noticed in our clinic when people do cardio, the immediate benefits include better cognition, better reaction time. 
all right? This has to do with neurochemicals in the brain. You get blood and oxygen going to the brain and these neurochemicals, uh, you got a winning combination, all right? So we're heading out in about 30 seconds for another break. So this is the first step for any of us to improve brain health. Do you know that Dr. John Rady says the part of the body that benefits the most from exercise is the brain? Isn't that something, folks? My name is Carl Sterling. I am absolutely honored and pleased to be your host here on Your Health Matters on News Radio 570 WSYR. Also available on 106.9 FM. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. At Comfort, we're more than just a window company. We're a window manufacturer. Windows handcrafted by Comfort employees, installed by Comfort employees, backed by our lifetime Comfort guarantee. Now that's single source satisfaction, and we're the only ones to offer it across New York State. We'll upgrade your windows to triple pane for free, plus 10% off. Okay, so remember, of the two things that I'm going over today, which I consider to be the most game-changing for helping to manage disease, uh, Parkinson's disease symptoms, get that heart rate up. You know what? We're going to do an exercise right now. Remember last week we did it? We're going to do it right now. 30 seconds, and here's what it is. I'm going to do it with you. So I'll find, I will might sound like I'm away from the mic. I might be away from the mic a tiny bit, but let's go. We're going to, whether you're seated or standing, we're going to do 30 seconds. I want you to do shadow boxing. That means you punch, okay? You're not punching anyone or anything. Just punch in the air, 30 seconds. Notice, though, before we go, don't go yet. Notice your heart rate right now. Notice your respiratory rate, okay? Take that into consideration. If you don't think you should do this for any reason, please don't. Otherwise, are you ready? Punching and go. 30 seconds. So we're punching, all right? All right, this looks so... Have you ever had anyone do this, Kelsey, in the studio before? Okay, well, I'm punching too, and I'm trying to talk at the same time. All right, why am I doing this? Well, nobody's going to sit here and punch for 30 seconds, all right? You're halfway there, over halfway, 12 seconds to go, right? Keep going. Punch hard. Punch, punch, punch. I want people in. Are you in on this? Are you in on this? We're almost there, okay? We're almost there. Two, one, done. Oh, I should have had you go a minute. Is your heart rate any higher now? According to my watch, mine is. It went from 60-something up to 80-something. Is yours higher? Is your respiratory rate just a little higher? Guess what, folks? You don't even have to stand up to do cardio. I'm being serious with you, okay? So get that heart rate up. You'll get BDNF produced. That's going to help you in so many ways with brain health. Remember, if you're in, text me. I want to hear about this. I want to do this together with people. Get on my website, carlsterling.com. That's Carl with a K. And search around. Go to the radio show tab. We have a community there. It's, It's the Facebook community. You can get on there. And we can help to encourage each other, support each other, and motivate each other and hold each other accountable. All right? I want to talk about a product we really like. It's called Play On. I talked about it last week. You just spray on and play on. We have it in my clinic now. You can buy it from us. And I'll give you the instructions to buy online uh, if you decide to do it that way. There's no need to rub it in. You spray it on. No need to rub in, no mess, no fuss. Play on stays on without even knowing that it's there, which reflects the science behind its effectiveness. All right. It creates an an imperceptible film on the skin, allowing the active ingredients to penetrate the skin cell barrier, making longer lasting and making it longer lasting. Sorry, my intonation was wrong. Anyways. And this is because of the ingredients, that it makes it a longer-lasting effect, the way it uh, penetrates the skin cell barrier. It delivers anti-inflammatory results, which will last over time. Uh, We love it. So far, we've had complete success with this and longer-lasting pain relief. You know, while many people have utilized ibuprofen for aches and pains, which certainly can be effective for some of those, let's say, deeper problems, People are turning to play on because it's all natural. No chemicals, no pharma, no drugs, and it does not have the negative effects of, uh, let's say, a drug like ibuprofen or acetaminophen and things like that. It's a clean, natural, and effective way to reduce pain from 
inflammation by targeting the painful area rather than having to medicate the entire body. That's probably my favorite thing about it. But besides the fact that it works, it's just we're, we're, we're targeting the painful area and that's it, okay? It can be safely used on knees, ankles, back, neck, shoulders, and other area where there is pain. The founders, uh, Jordan and Ava, are a mother and son team. They're the ones behind this. They've created this amazing product. They are relentless about it being all natural and highly effective, which it is. I speak firsthand on that. So, you know, they're very passionate about helping people in every aspect of what they do. All right. We got a clock to watch here, and I'm going to start talking about some other things right now. Parkinson's. Let's go back to number two, the number two most important thing we can do. Plus, it's just good to do anyways. I'm not just talking Parkinson's. I'm talking anybody and everybody. All right, let's think about the brain and neural circuitry. If you've had maybe a traumatic brain injury, a stroke, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, dementia, any kind of other brain-related or neurological issue like that. Okay, we know that brain circuitry can be compromised. And when a neural uh, uh, circuit is compromised, other circuits, though, can be developed by the brain because the brain can change itself. All right, so we can retrain the brain to improve movement and reduce falls. For example, in Parkinson's disease, we know this is substantia nigra, which is a heavy dopamine production center that's not producing as much as it used to. It's still functioning. You know, that's, that's also a very primal, um, very primal movement control center in the brain. Right? Cerebellum is a movement control center too. But it's outsourcing, the substantia nigra is outsourcing to cerebellum and the frontal area to develop them as new movement control centers. Basically, the short version of this, talking about neuroplasticity, is that this is the brain's ability to reorganize and create new neural pathways to adapt as it needs. That's it, folks. You just got to practice what it is you want to get good at. Maybe it's not falling. Maybe it's staying upright more safely, um, let's see, more efficiently to improve your balance, which is probably going to involve some strength gains. You, you might want to work on strength because you need muscle mass to have strength and balance. But that's it. Neuroplasticity plasticity is simple. It doesn't mean it's easy, though. None of this stuff necessarily is easy. It's unique. Um, in, in humans, it's kind of interesting because, you know, animals, too, I mean, they learn things. You know, you get some pretty smart animals out there. But the brain customize, it will customize itself to its experience. And the unique part to humans, if I can clarify better, we can direct our thoughts. We can actually intentionally go out and learn a new skill. We can plan things. We can plan trips, plan events, plan this, plan that. We can create goals, right? This is unique to humans. It's amazing. We can learn how to, let's say, uh, oh, Kelsey and I were speaking in Spanish, producer Kelsey. We both, right? Habla Espanol. Si, si, habla Espanol. Well, yo mucho, mucho gusto a hablar español. I like to speak Spanish. I like it. I learned it. I'm pretty good at it. I'm not fluent, but I'm close. Well, I practice, 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 practice to create the neural firing patterns to help me to develop that skill. Of course, the more you practice, the better you're going to get at it. This is what we're doing. We're retraining the brain. All right. Frequent and repetitive training will help develop develop these new neural pathways. Because neurons that fire the weather, uh, sorry, I'm full of all kinds of uh, uh, speaking errors today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's that clock forward an hour thing. Neurons, neurons that fire together, wire together. That's Carla Schatz. She's, uh, now she's at Stanford, and uh, she's amazing. Okay, so when we do frequent and repetitive training, we will be able to develop these skills or abilities because of the new synaptic firing patterns between neurons that are connect, connected, all right? 
Through regular training, these neural firing patterns are reinforced. The more solid these connections between neurons become, the better we can perform these skills. It's also known as remodeling. So before we head out in about a minute for a break, Let's talk about maximizing neuroplasticity potential. Okay, children and young adults are highly neuroplastic. Exposure alone can prompt the creation of new neural circuitry. The brain will customize itself based on experiences. I have four grandchildren, three years and under, all of them, right? They're learning things very, very quickly. However, adults are less plastic, age 25 and over statistically Focused effort is required to create new neural circuitry. It's called self-directed directed adaptive plasticity. We need to choose to direct the changes in our brain. And this is done through a two-step process, which we're going to talk about when we get back because it's uh, going to take me more than a half a minute to talk about that. You are listening to Your Health Matters here on News Radio 570 WSYR, also on 1.9 FM. Remember, I want to know if you're in, folks, 315-935-7488, 315-935-748. Text, call, tell me, are you in? Are we going to do this together? We'll be back in a couple minutes. Thank you. This battle with Father Time. Time always wins. Father Time is undefeated. And this weekend... Daylight saving time begins. Time claims another hour. I need every hour I can get. Not joking. Make the most of your time. Anytime. 570 WSYR. Move Metal in March is happening right now at all McGuire locations, and we're making it easier than ever to get into your ideal vehicle. Visit us at any of our 18 convenient locations throughout New York State, or visit MeguireCredit.com. MeguireCredit.com. You'll see why more people drive home stress-free every day with a vehicle. Howard. Okay, PlayOnRelief.com, just how it sounds, all one word, PlayOnRelief.com. You can get 15% off if you enter the discount code Sterling15, that's my last name, S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G-1-5 is your coupon code to save 15%. Playonrelief.com. Hey, while we're at it, let's talk about the personal training situation. We're going to need these people, folks, all right? And there's only one place that I recommend to go. You got a lot of great certs out there. You got, you know, Ace. ACSM, NASM, WITS, a bunch of others, but only two have been peer-reviewed, third-party. WITS and the one I recommend the most, the Brooke Bush Institute of Human Movement Science. I've known him for a very long time. I shadowed him for a couple of years. I worked for him for four years. I wish I could still could. I just don't have time. We traveled all over the world together teaching. Online for $20 per month, you can get a personal trainer certification. It's going to be the best one you ever get. I promise. You know why? I taught his stuff. I know the other stuff. His stuff is the best. So you go to my website, carlsterling.com. You go to the radio tab. Go down to my sponsors, our sponsors. Click on Brook Bush Institute and go there. If you are already a trainer or your physical therapist, you can get continuing education credits or units to go towards the renewal of your license in many states for physios and the renewal of your personal training certification for um, personal trainers. All right. Brooke Bush Institute, best place to go. And we have a slew of a population coming at us in the next couple decades with all kinds of health problems. Very sad to report this, but it's true. I mean, there's no way around it. But we can help these people to live a better quality of life. And like I said a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to be hiring somebody this year. I'm not ready yet. Don't call me yet. I'm not ready. But I need somebody. And I want them to go through Brooke Bush Institute. That's where uh, I want people to be trained at. Okay, let's go back to part two of this neuroplasticity thing. Okay, babies, young adults, up to approximately, let's say, age 25 or so, they are going to be um, more plastic, if you will. And so they're going to learn by mere exposure alone. Okay? We need to direct ourselves differently, though, as adults over age 25. We need to do a two-step process, extreme focus or chunking things together, 
let's say, short bouts of extreme focus and deliberate effort. This is going to vary from person to person as far as, you know, day to day, especially if you're living with Parkinson's, how you're feeling, how your medications are working, what your energy's like, did you sleep okay? You know, how's your digestive going? How's your energy level? How do you feel? Because every day can be different. Every hour can be different. All right, so this exercise is going to be uh, paramount. I'm sorry, this extreme focus is going to be paramount. All right. Step. Oh, the other thing, too, is during this, okay, if you look at the data from, you know, John Rady, Harvard, you look at Huberman Lab, we know that this um, um, cognitive effort, if you will, especially cognitive effort, there's noradrenaline released during these periods of focus. This may cause strain and discomfort during the effort, okay? If you feel, you know, we have sometimes people on the SmartFit uh, board that we use, all kinds of cognitive and reactive uh, type of games. Well, instead of a one-minute round or a two, we'll do maybe a three because I want them to be really fatigued for a minute or so, not so they get discouraged, but so that they have that feeling because I want that noradrenaline produced by their brain because at the same time the noradrenaline is being produced, we have acetylcholine, all right? This is being released at the point where the synapses are involved of what's being learned during this learning event, okay? The acetylcholine marks the neurons for strengthening. This is step one. This is what's happening during step one. If you get really fatigued, okay, don't worry if you do stuff wrong. If you don't get you know, a high score, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you're attaching, maybe maybe attach a reward to the effort and realize that these brain chemicals, these neural chemicals are so good for you, so good for the development of neural pathways. That's step one, hyperfocus. Step two is sleep, all right? Meditation, sleep-like state. These neuro, new neural pathways and circuitry are formed and strengthened during sleep. All right, so with that said, I'm done talking about Parkinson's myself. Um, I need to move forward here. We have so much else we can talk about, but I want to get into another thing here. All right, so here's where we're at. We were talking about, uh, sorry, I'm just uh, distracted for a moment here because there's something going on. Everything's cool. I want you to think about this before we head out in three and a half minutes. We just have about three and a half minutes left here. Um, last week we were talking about... Sorry, folks, I lost my place, but I'm going to find it right here. I was watching a documentary, four-part series called Living to 100, Blue Zones. You probably heard of it. All right, I'm not going to say it's the end-all, be-all documentary, but I want to tell you the, the compelling evidence is very compelling about a lot of things that they talked about. First of all, there is a loneliness epidemic. Uh, sad to report that, you know, we've had a couple people come in in the past weeks, uh, week or so, whose husbands have passed away in the past week or month or two. Uh we have a lot of people who come in who've lost a spouse. Some have lost children. Some have lost children and a spouse. So one of the things I want to say is we, we've we created a community at my clinic, and I think anyone listening who comes to neuromotor training and Camillus realizes we're we're here. We care. We will open our arms to you to come in, literally. We will welcome you. There's so much to give to other people. Do you know that so many people are lonely and what happens is their quality of life goes down, their health diminishes, they lose hope. You know, if they don't know, they don't have a reason to get up in the morning. Well, that ain't so good, is it? I know why I get up in the morning. I serve other people, my family and other people. When you know or find a way where you're going in life, it's going to help you a lot. But maybe volunteering, maybe reaching out to somebody, maybe making a phone call could be helpful. Take some flowers to somebody, deliver a gift, maybe a note, or a text even sometimes. And focusing maybe on somebody else other than yourself. I used to be real self-centered, you know. I 
can't do that anymore. That's ridiculous. So if you know somebody cares about you, you know, you're going to live longer. Longevity is exercise and community and a lot of things. we got to head out, folks. It's that time. CarlStern.com. Come back next week. We'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. The proceeding was a paid program by Carl Sterling. The content of this show is that of Carl Sterling and does not represent the views of the station or iHeartMedia. Some of the information contained in this program has not been approved by the FDA, nor is it intended to diagnose, prevent, treat, or cure any diseases. Information has been for general information only, and before considering anything discussed, you should contact your doctor or primary care physician. Companies say they're local. In Syracuse, Comfort handcrafts the most efficient windows in New York. Built tough to perform where we live. We're proud to be New Yorkers, to make quality windows for your home. Comfort employs more of our neighbors to install them than any other company. That's being.